Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plants. This is like take 5,000. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> but I'm so happy and excited to get back into planning and especially making videos. I have missed it so much. So I feel like that break was incredibly necessary for my mental health and realistically, I could not have done this while I was in the process of moving. So thank you so much for all the kind messages and for all of you that have reached out to me just to check how I was doing. And also thank you so much to 5,000 Instagram followers. It means the world to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some music and then we'll catch back up during the day by day. In my world, I don't worry, darling. I just smile, cause you're by my side. And now your eyes open up every morning to the love that shines in mine. And I see it in yours too. So now I sing to you. And when you go, Leave me here all alone I'll be waiting We can make it Because I know That after all this time You'll read between these lines Feeling fine Cause you said This is all you want No more playing, playing, playing On all this Waiting, waiting, waiting I call you mine I know you feel the same I do No more playing Wishing Waiting I was Taking 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 Baby Reminiscing on the time When we first met I was tongue tied Super fired What was it that I said Probably something foolish That didn't make much sense But you remembered A year later When I saw you next When I told then I need to hold you. Hold you said, come right on over. over. I could not wait to show you. I cherish all your lines. And after all this time, feeling fine. Cause you said, this is all you want. No more playing, playing, playing on all this. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'll call you mine. I know you feel the same as I do. So on the sidebar, the July script is from The Glitter Mama, the meeting and happy mail scripts are from Letters to Apollo, the date dots are from Honey Inked, and the workout script is from Station Stickers, who is now just a printable shop. But I think she recently said she was going to bring printed items to her shop like once a month or something. Also, the foiled headers, they're beautiful by the way. Those are from Simply Beautiful Plans. She is a Canadian shop, and I never had issues with her shipping, so... Um, now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the day by day, but just first and foremost, I just want to say I'm incredibly rusty. It's been about four weeks since I've posted a video or done a voiceover, so please bear with me. I know you guys are incredibly forgiving and all of that, so I just wanted to put it out there because I feel so awkward. <laughs> I feel like I'm just trying to get back into this and I have been trying to push it off because of my nerves and I think they're just like excited nerves if that makes sense. But anyways, so on Monday, the work script is from Station Stickers. I will be switching that out with a rose-colored days one. The Coffee Monday script is from Lilac Luna Plans. The coffee cup is from Crafts by Towie. That swoosh is from Sweet Bella XOXO. I'm going to switch that out later as well. The paw print is from The Glitter Mama, I believe. And the Chipotle script is from Letters to Apollo. That quarter box with the hearts is from Panda Bird Design. So 
I took forever to do Monday <laughs> and this is just me trying to get back into everything. I took a million years to do Monday. I think it took 30 minutes. I wasted so much on my memory card and my batteries. I just remembered having to switch out my battery because it took me so long. But after Monday and Tuesday, I think I kind of got back into like the swing of things. Also, that bow I'm putting down is from White Deer Stationery, and the film haul is from Letters to Apollo. The single foiled line divider is from my spoiled planner, but I wanted to switch that out and then use the ones I got from Jackson Pepper just because this is a kit from her shop. I felt like it matched a little bit more, and I love these ones. They are so beautiful. I'm so glad that Lena did a $2 Tuesday with these because they're definitely one of my favorites from her sampler sheet. I could not get this divider straight to save my life. <laughs> I'm such a perfectionist, I just could not control myself. But I'm also going to switch out that swoosh from Sweet Bell XOXO to one from Panda Bird Design. I just like that it was a little bit shorter in width, so it just gave a little bit more white space on both sides. And that was just me being picky. So on Tuesday, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in this flat lay from Paper Shire to Mark Coffee. And I love this flat lay, I need to pick up more. I really wish she had a full sheet of just these. I think it's a sheet of like six, but two of them, two or three of them are like a different design. And these tiny bows are from Simply Watercolor Co. And this other bow is from Harriet Wright Designs. <laughs> this was the week I was moving and I was still working in the office Monday and Tuesday. And I think I teleworked um, Wednesday or something. I, I can't remember. Yeah, Wednesday and Thursday I teleworked. And then I took that Friday off because that was the day that we did our closing. So this was a very hectic week to say the least. I tried my best not to use as much PTO. I mean, I can afford to, but I just... Don't like to use it if I don't have to, especially with working from home. I feel like there's so much more flexibility now. So I just, you guys, it was a hectic week and even more hectic because of course the week that I'm supposed to be going on PTO for my move and everything, my laptop just decides to just break on me. So a month before this, actually, I've been having an issue with a program that I use every single day. And so they've been trying to do like temporary fixes. Every single day I was calling into IT and it was so, so, so stressful. And I basically was like, listen, y'all got to escalate this because I cannot deal with calling you guys every single day. So finally, it took for my leadership to escalate it and push them to do something because I guess I need to have a director in my name for someone to do something. So it's fine. <laughs> So basically I went to go pick up my laptop this day and I remember I still had the same issue. So I was like, I cannot, I cannot deal with this. So they had to do a whole re-imaging of my computer and it was a whole thing. It was a mess. I respect people that do IT because sometimes I wish it was like the good old days where you could just smack the computer and it worked, but that doesn't happen anymore. So I, yeah, it was, it was a thing and it was like perfect timing. You know, when it rains, it pours, everything just has to happen on the weeks that are so important and already so stressful. <laughs> so on Wednesday, I know I talked through Tuesday, so if you have questions about the stickers, go ahead and comment below. So on Wednesday, I just wanted to mark coffee. Um, I worked from home this day, which was very nice. And then I also wanted to mark that I packed the kitchen and the living room this day. So we were doing a lot of like packing upstairs and stuff like that. Like we did a lot of packing a little at a time the week prior. But I feel like it's kind of hard to pack so much weeks in advance because you still need to use stuff. And we were moving from a townhouse to a single detached home, so we didn't have as many things anyways. But then when you start opening cabinets, you're like, oh, oh my gosh. Like, you don't realize how much stuff you have. And you're like, wow, okay. So it was nice, though, because weeks leading up to it, we were donating, like, cleaning our closets, getting rid of stuff, throwing things away. Like, it was so much easier to actually pack since we did that. So that was very helpful. I love the way I marked packing. Um, that girl is super cute. I know she's holding a planner, but it looks like she's holding stuff to like put in a box. She's from Fox and Pip, and that box is from White Deer Stationery. That house is from GP Studio. I wanted to mark that. There was also a power outage. So, like I said, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and it was just very difficult because I think the last two nights in our home, our first home, we were sleeping on the floor or like on a just a mattress. We didn't put our mattress in the pod container until the very last minute, but it was still so hard. Like it was probably two of the worst nights of sleep I've ever, ever had in my entire life. So on Thursday, I just wanted to mark that I also worked from home. This was my last day of working from home. And then I went on PTO after this day for a couple of days. And then basically we just, you know, packed and just did a walkthrough of our house. And then that is a really cute box. I think that is from Regina Laughs. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. And the work from home scripts are from Right Brain Paper Co. That is such a cute like pancake plate that is from uh, Paper Crown Prints. I think she's a printable shop and an actual physical shop. 
All the scallops I'm bringing in are from Panda Bird Design and the hearts are from Crafts, uh, or sorry, Clever Gal Crafts. And then I'm also going to pull in another Panda Bird Design box. Instead, this has the roses on it and the house is from GP Sticker Studio or sorry, the GP Studio. I know she recently changed her name. And then I'm also going to decorate it with a bow from Simply Watercolor Co. I love bows. You guys know this. I love bows, hearts, stars, flowers, all of the above. And I definitely have so much credit to give to Lauren of Plan Motion Plan because I have been so obsessed with her planning style since I way before I started my channel. So I got a lot of inspiration from her to do that. So that's where I take that from. And so on Friday, this was the day that we we moved and did the closing. So the couple that we bought the house from, they were so, so amazing. They basically let us go in and drop our things off in advance and just leave it in the garage just because it was really difficult for us to fit everything in one pods container. And, you know, just like the little things that you have to kind of throw in your car. And it was just a lot easier to deal with. They were so incredibly understanding, helpful, and just they accommodated to us so, so much. Because you're typically not supposed to move into a home, I believe, until after closing. But I think if you're, if you're going to pull things in that same day, because we had two closings on Friday. Like we had the closing for our townhouse in the morning. And then we had the closing for our new house in the, like, late afternoon. So... The attorneys were saying like if you're closing and moving the same day it's not that big of a deal because of like insurance and liability so I totally understood that but I was so thankful and appreciative that they were able to accommodate to us and they were just such a blessing and just an amazing couple to work with I don't know I have, I have so many nice things to say so I'm very very thankful and it felt like such a seamless process like leading up to this I of course wasn't sharing with you guys but when I would post um like empty boxes and not writing it. It was a lot of things dealing with the house search and things like that. And when I was doing a lot of deep cleaning, like that's exactly the reason why is because we were getting rid of stuff and cleaning a lot for this. I feel like this process has inc incredibly been so seamless and it just really worked in our favor. So I'm incredibly happy that we didn't have a lot of stress to deal with during the actual, you know, like paperwork and closing process, like the processing, closing, all of that. It would just it just worked out so perfectly. I know I kind of blabbed through all the stickers, so you guys can always ask where they're from. I'm obsessed with those house stickers from the GP Studio. I think they are probably some of my favorites. They're so detailed and like perfect size. I think they're just amazing. So on Saturday, we slept in. It was so nice. I know that we didn't have like our bed set up yet, but we had like our mattress to stack. So it was really nice to just sleep in our house. It was nice. I could finally breathe and like start unpacking our container and cars you know, on my own time and not feel rushed because this week was only stressful because of the moving process, but all the paperwork and stuff was seamless. I am so incredibly happy for that. The Starbucks script is from Letters to Apollo and that coffee cup is from Rose and Tea Shop. Those hanging bows are some of my favorites. They are from Sadie Stickers. And then I pulled in that swoosh from Sweet Bell XOXO. And a lot of the icons I'm pulling in, like the sleeping mask and the utensils are from Crafts by Towie. I was also incredibly thankful because my little sister was visiting and staying with us during this entire week and I was able to get her help a lot, especially with my dog Jace. She was able to keep an eye on him and keep him preoccupied while my fiance and I just did what we had to do for the house and every time we had to run out and do errands and stuff like that, it was really nice to have her help. So on Sunday, we had breakfast tacos. That apron is from Crafts by Towie. That large bow is from White Deer Stationery. I love the look of the bow and the flag like that. It's really pretty. We continued to unpack, and it was nice to just unpack and do it on our own time. It was also new and exciting, and it still really is, but it was nice to not be rushed because we had to hurry up and get out of the house. So I was really excited to start settling into the house. That sticker that I used to mark buying some stickers because of some new releases I saw, that is from Planning World. And I'm just switching some things up here on Friday. So I wanted to mark that we also grabbed Ben and Jerry's and that is a half mini mandala from Honey Inked. And that is a circle, a scalp circle from Regina Laughs who is now Miss Meow. I really love how that turned out. I think it's really cute and pretty and I just love the scallops on scallops. So that is an ice cream sticker from Rose and Tea Shop. Here are the leftover stickers and here is a Vib Wiggle. I really love the silver foil. It's very classy and complements the pinks and blues very well in this spread. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Check out my discount codes below and I hope that you're taking care of yourselves and doing well and I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I do no more playing, wishing, waiting. Now it's taking, 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 baby.